Hi everyone, um, my name is Dr Nia Williams and I am a lecturer here at the School of Education and Human Development. I hope you're all keeping safe under these odd circumstances um, and I'm basically just going to talk you through what to expect from now until September depending on um, and of course what, what happens. So your kids have decided to come to Bangor University and we are all looking forward to seeing them hopefully um, come September. So they've decided to further their education and we know that this can be um, kind of an anxious time for them as they transition from school to university but we also understand that it can be a kind of anxious time for parents as well especially um, if your child is the first um, to be going to university and maybe you just don't know what to expect. So from now until September we will be communicating with, with your, um, your children. So they'll be communicating through uh, emails, contacts from our um, students will be communicating with them so any worries or concerns or questions that they might have relating to the course or the university, then we have got this buddy system up um, to keep communicating with them from now until September and to kind of reduce that um, anxiety. They'll also be um, offered to join different Facebook groups so that they can meet other students that will also be starting in September as well. So it's kind of like to build up a little community so that they they don't feel lonely um, when they start university. They will have possibly established a few, few circle of friends. There'll also be formal communication from us as well and links to videos about the courses, reading lists and so forth. And if, they, if, the, if you have any questions or your children have any questions, then they are more than welcome to email um, us. We are here working throughout the, throughout the summer. So while all of this is happening, maybe you're thinking what to do with the spare space that you'll now have in your, in your house. So you might be thinking about converting it to a bar, maybe a pool or a games room, the world's your oyster. And also don't think about this as a time of being maybe sad. It's a new beginning for your children, but it also can be quite liberating and a new beginning for you guys too as you adapt um, to what will happen. So yes, you might be going out, you might find yourself partying in your new bar space or yeah, whatever. So from now until then we will const be constantly communicating and then come September, um, if we are not, of course, in, in lockdown still. This is what usually happens. Um, so September is where the students, we will meet and greet them. They'll be moving into their halls of residence or um, houses, and you're not gonna be alone, okay? So we will have um, peer guides to help out with carrying things. We'll be there to meet, meet and greet you guys. Um, and yeah, just to make sure that any, any questions you have or any concerns, there will be so many people around to, to help you. So you're not, you're not doing this on your own. So this will be your child leaving. This will be the car with the hair straighteners, the eyelashes, about 15 pairs of shoes. Um, and do remember that they always leave with so much more stuff than when they arrive. Most parents like to ensure that the house, the halls are really clean and a lot of them will be bringing their own cleaning stuff to give um, the space maybe once over. So what do they need? Well they need the usual textbooks, although quite a lot of our books are now online. Uh, things like can coat hangers, duvets, washing up liquid, cleaning, cleaning things and, and like I was saying earlier on they always leave with so much more stuff than they arrive. So Bear that in mind after the, um, the three years with us. So typically, again, this depends on whether we'll still be in lockdown or not come September. But what usually happens 
um, during the, the welcome week is there'll be a mixture of lectures, taster sessions, um, there'll be games night, pub quiz, lots of kind of activities to bring um, everybody together to ensure that people have got are making friends and that nobody is on their own. There'll be talks from the head of school, from us, members of staff as well, and kind of induction sessions to help ensure that our students are really settling in. Um, we are extremely proud of the pastoral care we have here at Bangor University. We do get to know our students extremely well and we are constantly communicating with them to ensure that they're okay. Um, or if they're facing maybe a difficult time, that we're there to offer our full support. Not only do we do this as uh, lecturers, where we all have our personal tutors, tutees, so we, they will stick with us throughout the three years, which means we do get to know um, our tutees really, really well. We have um, great wardens in the halls to ensure, again, that our students are safe. We've got different supports in terms of um, money support, financial support, um, and also student support services and so forth. So we are, because, because this is quite a small school, we, we are extremely, we're able to give excellent pastoral, pastoral care. And we are constantly communicating with other lecturers within the school if we are concerned about um, one of our students. Then after the welcome week, they will start, your children will start on the studying. Yes, yeah, so they will be taking different modules, um, there'll be dropping sessions, there'll be support for different assignments and so forth. But this is, this is where the work actually um, begins. But it's not a, just about the course. Here at Bangor, we are extremely proud of our employability award. So throughout the three years, your children will have opportunities to go out on placement. Again, um, depending on, on the lockdown, of course, but I'm, it's not going to, I hope, won't be going on for, for three years. But there, there's opportunities for them to study abroad, to learn languages and to volunteer. Um, so it's about building a really great CV. It's not about just coming here and doing the course. We want to skill them up to make them um, employable by the end of, of the three years. And we're extremely proud of, of that. And then after the three years, well, it's graduation day. Um, it's a bittersweet day for us because we welcome them in September. And then after three years, we we have to say goodbye unless they continue to study with us. So it's always a kind of bittersweet day where we love seeing them graduate and dressed up and looking extremely smart. But it's also a, a sad day for us because we might not be um, seeing them again. Um, over the three years, you know, you might miss them dearly and you might to make different promises. A few years back, one of my students, her dad said to her, do you know what, if you get a first, I'll give you a thousand pounds. And he, he didn't really think that she would ever get a first, um, but she worked incredibly hard and she graduated with a first class degree and her dad on graduation day had to give her a thousand pounds so be careful of the promises you make you might miss them you might not expect them to do as well as they do but um yeah we're here to get the best out of them so just be careful and then if you if you've got any questions or concerns that you want to ask us then please feel free to email any of the staff um, or you can email me personally my email is nia.williams at bangor.ac.uk and like I said we are working throughout the summer so please any, any questions or concerns you may have please do let us know. And yes that is it so I hope you're all staying safe um, and take great care and hopefully we will get the opportunity to meet you in September.